Welcome everybody to the video. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm going to do something I've never done before, but I've always wanted to. Have y'all ever been intrigued by all the videos that are out there of how people make the DIY aged vessels? I'm going to show y'all in today's video how we can take a couple of ingredients and make some really pretty aged vessels using some thrifted items and also some items that we may can get at the dollar store. So stay tuned and I hope y'all enjoy the video and you get lots of ideas and inspiration. Before we get started with today's projects, I want to give a huge thank you to Lul Mattresses for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with them, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. But they are, they deliver mattresses to your door, give you a healthier better night's sleep and they have award-winning mattresses we received ours and it only took minutes to assemble and once you take the package off this is when the magic starts to happen you roll out your mattress it was so easy for ben and i to put this on the foundation that we got you just lay it on there you remove the plastic and the magic will start to happen your mattress will start to expand before your very eyes you will need to let your mattress expand for three days and once the three days is up, then you will get to sleep on it and enjoy a great night's sleep. They're, they're offering all of my viewers a discount code. So make sure to go out and check out Lul Mattresses. And I'm going to leave a link in my description box for all their information. And there is going to be more coming on this mattress. So stay tuned in upcoming videos. And I'm going to give y'all a review of how well it sleeps and also how I style it in our home. The thing I loved about this mattress the most is it required no tools to assemble it. And like I say, it only took us minutes to assemble it. And not only does this mattress arrive at your door, they also offer you a 365-night stress-free trial. You get free shipping, and they have easy returns and a lifetime warranty. So if you are looking for a no-stress, high-quality mattress, make sure to check out my description box and go out and visit Lul Mattresses. I got the inspiration to make these projects from a, another YouTube channel called Rural Refurb. Her name is Tracy, so I'm going to leave a link to her channel down below, so make sure to go out and check it out. The first thing I did before I got started with my projects is I went around and I gathered up items that I already had that I had thrifted or got at the dollar store to do these projects. The items that I used in today's video is vases. And then I use some like some different various shapes of pots, but you can use, you know, different kinds of items that you may have. Once you choose the items that you want to make into a, um, an aged vessel, then you'll need some gloves. I just took some dirt from outside, some various spices, some joint compound, and some water. And that's all the ingredients that we're going to need to make these aged vessels. Next thing we want to do is we want to prep the surface of our item and you want to suit up. <laughs> Just kidding, but I did feel like this because I was a little timid, intimidated by this project, but once I got started, there's nothing to it. But you may want to clean the surface of your area really good, maybe using some alcohol or just clean it really well. If it needs to be sealed, like some of these are real slick, you can spray some sealer on them or you can put some paint on them just to have a good base. And that's what I did with this blue vase that I got at the thrift store. You will want to wear gloves for this project because it can get messy and you don't want to get it all over your hands. And also you may want to put on an apron or a shirt to protect your clothes. You want to take your joint compound. I got this at Lowe's in a huge bag because it was a better deal. And it dries in 20 minutes, so it fast dries. You just want to mix it to where you have the consistency a little bit thicker than cake batter. Once you get your mixture mixed up in you just kind of have to measure it out. I did have enough to go with this vase, and I think I did like two or three of those little small solo cups full of the joint compound powder, and then I just added my water, you know, a little bit at a time, because like I say, you want this to be a little bit thicker than cake batter. Now, I put it on with a little spatula at first, and then once you get it, you know, a little bit layered on your project piece, then you can just use your hands and start dabbing it on. Now, once you get the inside of where you want it to be and also get the outside fully covered, then I'm just going to take that dirt. This is just some potting soil that I had in a leftover pot. 
And now I'm just going to go in and this is where the fun begins. You just kind of want to create this as you go and add your layers and your textures and your colors. You can add as little dirt as you want to or you can add as, you know, or add more. Now if you get a little bit too much somewhere, you can always go back with your joint compound and just kind of add that in. And like I say, you're just kind of blending the colors and the textures and the layers as you go. I went in and just kind of in random places, I put the potting soil and then, you know, just kind of work your hands around it. And like I say, this is a very fun and therapeutic type project to do. Now, after a few minutes, the joint compound will not be sticking to your hands anymore and it'll get to where you can actually shape it around your project. You want to just kind of flatten it out, pat it down really well to, the, to your surface. Now, I just left this setting up overnight, then I come back the next day. I wanted more of a smooth texture on mine, so I just got some really heavy grit sandpaper, and I went over it, and I sanded it down. But if you want more of a rough texture on yours, you do not have to sand it. In today's video, though, I'm going to show you, you know, several different ways of how you can do this. I'll show you some that I've sand sanded and some that I just left very textured. And I also want to add, once it dries overnight, the color of the joint compound in the potting soil, it gets a lot lighter. Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors. Now I'm going to transform another thrifted piece and it's a terracotta bowl and these type bowls right here are great for these type projects. I only paid three dollars for this. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put in my joint compound powder. Now joint compound also comes or pre-mixed so you can also use that if you would you know rather use it. I just went with the powder because the uh, Tracy in the video that inspired me, she used the powder, so I was just going with, you know, what she used. And again, I just mixed my water in as I needed it till I got the consistency that I needed. So once I've got it to the good consistency, remember to put on your gloves. These gloves are going to save your hands. And you just want to do the same technique. You just really want to go over, lather this all over your project piece on the outside and also get down on the inside and since this is a bowl i'm going to do the entire inside on this now i did run out of my joint compound mixture so i did i went a little bit thinner on this piece and um, i didn't get to add any because this is really early in the morning it's still dark outside and my joint compound compound powder was outside so i'm just going to make this work <clears throat> and two being terracotta color if a little bit of it shows through to me it's just going to add a little bit more texture but once i got the joint compound mixture on my project my little bowl piece i just went over it then with my dirt now i went pretty heavy with the dirt on this one and once you add the dirt in it really starts adding a lot of texture and the mixture it just kind of you know blends in and then it's a lot easier to blend it with your hands and you know and this is what it looks like and like i say when it when it dries overnight it dries a lot lighter but this is what it looks like the next day so just another idea of how you can take some thrifted pieces or maybe some pieces you may have around your home that you just want to give a little you know um facelift to this technique right here is so much fun and it really gives a great effect of looking like faux concrete. Okay, are y'all having fun making some aged vessels yet? I know I am. And this is the largest piece I did. I found this huge vase at Goodwill for $4.99. Now, 
Now, this is all glass, and it was very fragile. The first thing I did was I put some paint on it just to give it a base because it was such a slick surface. And then I went over it with DIY liquid patina because what I wanted was for all this to dry. And then that way, once I put my joint compound mixture on it, it wouldn't just slide right off. And that way, it did add a good base for this to adhere to. Now I'm going to show you on this vase, I am not going to sand this piece at all. I'm going to leave it with its textured surface. And I think this is about the third project that I did, and I got better each time I did this. And that's what you'll do if you do any of these. The first one will be just kind of like a little learning curve, but the more of these projects you do, you'll learn something each time of, you know, how you want to do it and you know, just mixing your joint compa compound, just the texture of it, of how much water to add and how you want to mix it and how much to mix. But this vase right here, I did that whole little lunch meat container full and it took every bit. But I did that. The inside of the rim, as you can see, I added my dirt and then I just went around and I flattened it on the surface really well and I let this dry overnight. And I think this piece turned out absolutely beautiful. Now the next piece that I'm going to work on, I'm going to show y'all how we can put some of those spices that I told y'all about to work. We're going to add a little bit more color to our, our textured uh, joint compound. And like I say, I'm kind of going through things that I already have on hand. And I had this little plastic jack-o'-lantern. These are those that you can get at Walmart that have the little handles. And I did a, a project with it last year in a video, and it, so it was already painted white. But I just applied my joint compound mixture on it really good. I went around with the dirt, and now I'm going to add some chili powder. You can get these little spices very inexpensive uh, at Walmart. So just grab some in different colors and whatever you like. And I just went around with that chili powder, and I just kind of added it into random places, and I just kind of patted it in. And it will just go in there in all those little grooves of the texture of the joint compound in the, in the dirt, and it'll just kind of work into those little grooves. Now you can put as much or as little of the chili powder as you want. And like I say, I just kind of put some on, just kind of worked it, and just to kind of give it, I don't know, it really gives it a really good fall color. And then once it got to the stage where it's starting to dry, I went around and I just kind of formed it on my pumpkin really well and flattened it out. Now this is what it looked like, and I think this turned out so pretty. So now we just took that little Walmart, little dollar store, little jack-o'-lantern, and we made a beautiful vessel out of it to put some really pretty fall florals in. That's sure something I could use. A cure for the air condition And here's another thing, y'all. If you work on these type projects, you probably want to work outside. I did the first ones inside, and it made a mess. So now I'm going to get really smart, but it has been really hot here, and so I really enjoy getting to work under the air conditioning. But today, the temperatures have given us a break, so I'm getting outside on my workbench, so the lighting is a little bit worse out here because this is under a little... Um, a, a little roofed area but i'm just working outside today so now i can make a huge mess <laughs> and this is the thing about working in gloves some of that joint compound once it gets on these little thin gloves it really weighs your gloves down your gloves will fall off 
but I'm just going to do the same technique. But these are some little dollar store. I got these at Dollar General last year. I think they were a dollar. They're just little plastic flower pots. And you can also pick these up at Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to take a, a, or oregano. I got this and some Italian seasoning because I like the little green color to it. But like I say, you can get any kind of spice that you want to do whatever kind of colors that you want to mix in on your projects. But I think this really pretty green really added a lot to this little pot. And I just went in random places. I added it. And let me tell you something. This also made my little pot smell so good. That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning I had two of these little pots. I did both of them. This one I did not add oregano to. I just left it with the dirt and the joint compound just to give you an idea of what a difference the oregano makes. I'm going to do one last project for y'all and this one right here I've already put in a, in a in a previous video but I painted it white this is just a piece of trash I found in my neighbor's trash on the side of the road and I painted it white and did a little fairy garden in it for that video well it is just that uh, um, you know a plant saucer plate that you know it holds the water of your flower pot and it's plastic so th these right here, you can get very inexpensive, or like I say, you probably have some of these outside with your flower pots. I did the same method to it, and I just added some cinnamon on this one. So like I say, get creative with your spices, add them in, add a little bit more texture to your, to your vessels and a little bit more color. And I styled this one using some, you know, really big beaded garland, and I think this is going to make a great piece to add to all my fall vignettes. Hope you got some great ideas and inspiration from today's video as always please like the video if you did give me a thumbs up it really helps out my channel make sure you are subscribed i'd love to have you back and also make sure to leave me a comment down below let me know what your fa favorite thing was in today's video and let me know if you're planning on making any of the projects i did i also want to give a big thank you to lul mattresses for sponsoring today's video and make sure to check out my description box use our discount code and go out and shop their website i love y'all and i will see y'all again in the next video bye y'all